For PwC, I'm absolutely delighted to support the, the Cyber Awards. We see it as a really good celebration of what the industry in Scotland is all about. We're delighted in how the, or the industry has grown in Scotland in the last year or two. The come together of universities, private public sector, you know, advisory firms, law enforcement is I think quite exceptional. I think we should be really proud of that as an industry and I think it's great that we get together to, to celebrate that. Yes, yeah, so this is year two for us sponsoring the Cyber Awards and we're absolutely delighted to do it. PwC has been there right from the start and when we discussed these awards at the beginning we were right behind them because we think it is the most influential evening in the Scottish cyber industry you can ever have. Everybody's together, we all do similar jobs, we all work in the same environment, the same genre. Um, there's lots of camaraderie, there's lots of banter. Um, it is actually really, really good fun. It really is a great opportunity to, to congratulate those who have worked so hard, to congratulate the great SMEs for the work that they've done, the selfless dedication to social and economic, political impact. So it's a way to say thank you and for everybody to, to get together. This isn't a bunch of techies meeting to talk about firewall rules and so on. This is a community coming together and sharing a drive, a strive, a shared interest. People are, uh, they're starting to take it a lot more seriously. The board are starting to accept and, and understand uh, a lot more frequently. Still some messaging to be done there, but I think that uh, a lot of the challenges we have are about getting enough good Good quality, talented people to, to organisations are offering the correct service or, or offering to help smaller organisations. So there's a bit of a skills and a capability gap there, I guess, where um, certainly sitting in the room uh, at the awards event will have some incredibly talented people, but we'll need 10 or 20 times more, more rooms full of people like that in order to, to help. I think in Scotland what's unique is the range of industries that we face up against. Everything from financial services to oil and gas, to pharmaceuticals, to research, to public sector, small, medium and large business. And the range of organisations that we speak to is, is quite exceptional. And you know, being, in a, being based in Scotland, delivering in Scotland, we cover all of them. In, in terms of Scotland, I think we're unique. We are a small country but a small country can move fast. We have an ecosystem around our universities uh, that are producing the graduates of, of the future and, and really companies will base themselves wherever they find graduates, wherever they find intellect, wherever they find people with ideas who can solve problems. What, what, what's good to say about Scotland's tech industry actually is the way that we're responding to the cyber threat and the cyber landscape by spinning up new businesses that are actually relevant. There's a lot of cyber startups when you look around the world and you map them. What I see in Scotland is a really focused view of actually what's going to make a difference. You know, so we've got some brilliant examples of phenomenal startup businesses, um, things like ZoneFox, things like Skyscanner, um, phenomenal startups, absolutely brilliant stories. Um, but for every one of them, there's probably 10 or 20 small startups that could be the next one. And these are all really focused in on things that will make a difference. And I think that's a little bit different. It's definitely not jumping on the bandwagon. It's, it's a very focused approach. We have key uh, control over innovation around the innovation centres. And we have a real burning desire to really innovate and, and to make, make a difference. Scotland has always been a place that innovation thrives. Uh, we want to attract the best talent from around the world and to come and live in our great cities.